What viral video image news piece was proven fake, but most people think it's still real? Fucking camel spiders. AKA when scorpions. Yeah. They're the same fucking thing and they're about as big as your thumb. They tease you because they hide in shadows. They're non-poisonous, and I personally have never been bit. I trap them in jars all the time when I find them and they fucking freeze. They just. Stop moving. So I naturally use camera tricks to make it look like I trapped a bug the size of a ferret because I take advantage of people's stupidity for my own entertainment. Oh my god you're so sketchy blah 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 yeah but yeah, cool face. WMDs we found out was a myth, New Coke was a marketing ploy, Loch Ness Monster was proven to be fake, Bigfoot was not real, crop circles were proven to be man-made, the Cottingly fairies were not authentic photos, the woman who gave birth to rabbits, was fake and did not happen. Millie Vanilli's career, and the 20s inflation because of the pandemic just used as an excuse to raise prices and never lowered them again. These are all some of many examples. You can look them up online if you want. There was a global viral story about a successful Chinese businessman who sued his wife successfully once she had given birth to ugly children, and it was discovered she had various cosmetic surgeries. The story was fake. The family in the photo that circulated were hired models, and shooting for some unrelated content. The woman-wife character in question was deeply upset by this news piece which was included shared throughout various legit news outlets. Most right-wing news. The migrant caravan. That disappeared on election day. The litter boxes for students who identify as cats. That was actually an emergency toilet for students to use during a shooting. The students being forced to perform Muslim prayers during school. That was actually just a tornado drill. I guess it's not most people that still believe in it but it's nearly half of all voters so that's pretty concerning. Don't know if this counts but the media coverage around the McDonald's coffee lawsuit. They lampooned that poor woman, but if you've seen the pictures, there's no denying that nothing that hot should have ever been served to someone. Not to mention the complaints they had already received about their coffee being scaldingly hot. I've seen a lot of people share tweets by JK Rowling which were fakes. It's quite easy to see which tweets are real and which are fake. But people blindly post and rant about the fake ones without doubly checking. It's also very easy to make fake tweets. There's sites that churn them out in seconds. So many of those videos taken in classrooms where some parent comes in and rips down a pride flag and argues with the teacher. Or others where students and teacher fight. There's staged videos farming outrage engagement from dumb boomers on Facebook who will see the videos and assume they're real. The infamous lemmings jumping off a cliff to their deaths documentary footage. Showed them following one another mindlessly off the cliff. Disney staged the entire thing and it was freaking cruel and beyond messed up. People still reference that to this day and it's not even close to being true. Tourist guy still gets circled every so often. The photo from a camera recovered in the wreckage of a tourist on top of one of the towers with a plane in the background. Probably aging myself, but I remember getting his via hotmail and it still surprises me when I see it popping up today. Maybe not fake, but a lot of people don't understand that the McDonald's hot coffee trial from ages ago was not about a person who spilled a regular cup of coffee on themselves. It was superheated water that the company knew was going to hurt people and they didn't fix their machines. The chess player that cheated by using anal beads didn't actually happen. The joke came from the chat of a chess streamer that was talking about the cheating scandal. It got picked up as a joke in the chess world and then it started becoming a thing joked about in mainstream media. Fox News has been found time and time again over the years to edit their videos to fit a narrative. They get caught and are told to do a retraction and they do, but the retraction is often very limited or aired and off hours and so most of their viewers never get it. Half of the videos on Reddit and at least 90 of TikToks. Honestly the amount of time there's blatant raid bait or just completely staged videos and people every time fall hook like in synchro for it, despite people pointing out it's fake and giving reasons. There is a picture of abandoned where people stand at the tellers, there are indents in the concrete where people stand. It is not true at all. I've had things sitting much heavier on concrete for years and have not left an indent. Have you seen this man in your dreams? Thing. I just learned it randomly from a video I watched like a couple weeks back. It was orchestrated by some marketing firm called Guriglia Marketing sorry if I butcher the name. Chocolate being good for a weight loss. It was intended to expose p-value manipulation in the food science world, and created a myth instead. The Russian sleep experiment. I thought it was real for a long time too before finding out that it was literally just a creepy pasta, but everyone I speak to about it is absolutely certain that it actually did happen, 
Woman Shroudy. The picture of Obama and Hillary in the Situation Room of the White House surrounded by numerous others apparently watching Bin Laden getting offed. Apparently they weren't even in the same state never mind the same room. The amount of World War II hoax images out there is insane. Everything from the Nazi time machine to the flying saucer is treated like fact by so many people even to this day, decades after they've been proven to be false. Tucker Carson's cherry-picked videos of Jan 6 proving the protesters were peaceful and were escorted in by the police even though several other videos show them breaking in with no police escorts in sight. That the scene where Will Smith talked about his dad was unscripted why doesn't he want me man or something of the sort followed by hugging his uncle. It was in fact not about his real-life father. One of the early internet hoaxes. The guy standing on the roof of the World Trade Center showing the plane in the background. I don't think most people believed it, but far too many did. The hospital in Gaza every major media outlet claimed Israel bombed and killed 500 civilians, when it turned out to be a Palestinian Islamic Jihad rocket that fell on a parking lot. The fucking photo of a shark swimming in shallow water that gets paraded out every time a city floods. Like, no. There aren't sharks swimming through the streets of San Diego every spring. Trump saying that if he ran for president he would switch to Republican because Republicans are dumb. He didn't say that. I don't like the guy but there's no need to lay about the dude. Many fitness related products and training workouts used to advertise that you can target fat loss on a particular place on your body, like tummy fat. Fat doesn't know where it lives. Israel destroyed over 250k homes and the media gaslights me into believing there was Hamas in every single one of those buildings. And Israel is trying to prevent civilian casualties. Nessie. He literally admitted he took the photo to prove a point on how gullible the news people were after someone made a hoax by making footprints in the mud with a hippo foot cast. The ghost in the apartment of the main characters and three men and a baby. The image is actually just a cardboard cutout of Ted Danson from a subplot that was cut out of the movie. The newspaper article quoting Trump saying if he ran for president he'd run as a Republican because Republicans are stupid. That was definitely fake but Democrats still share it. That video of the guy jumping off the cliff and there being a great white. There's also another one of the guy jumping off a pier. Both videos use the same great white footage. That people are giving out fake drugs for Halloween. I think it started because a dad poisoned his own children and used that as an excuse and it's still believed to this day. Hurricane Shark the shark swimming down the freeway was believed to be real but it was fake. And then, later, there was a real photo, but it was believed to be fake. That old video with news reporter interviewing the baseball player and a ball gets launched at them and he catches it saving her that video was proven fake ages ago. The Pindo hoax. Studied it in grad school. MJ knew people wouldn't actually read documents. People still think vaccines cause autism even though the guy that made the discovery was charged with medical malpractice and had his medical license revoked. You should check out the UFO subs on here. Every video is proven fake but they cry, scream and make up every excuse they can think of to claim they're real. Don't know if it was just me but the ever dream this man poster. I thought it was real for literal years before seeing that it was a marketing campaign. The rumor that Timothy Shalom may spread chlamydia to the entire NYU student population. This was from a fanfic, but people bring it up like it's true. The goat in the water viral video with a pig saving a drowning goat from about 10 years back. The whole thing ended up being from Nathan for you. The story of a woman getting sued by her husband after she gave birth to ugly babies that looked nothing like her because she got plastic surgery. Basically anything that IDFI off official CACs posts on on social media. I genuinely can't tell if Ty or Stutter or Ty think the world is stupid. J.R.R. Tolkien's Why Didn't They Fly the Eagles to Mordor video. Amount of people who think that the video was real is actually astonishing. The celeb COVID list turning into the Epstein Island celeb list. Rudy Gobert list. Kubrick making off the landing on the moon on stage. We all know that, for more authenticity, he sent the actor on the real shooting place. The picture of the rapper game that right-wing media tries to pass off as Trayvon Martin. My Fox News parents and their ilk still believe it. The Trump at Charlottesville stuff. The fine people on both sides thing reads way different if you watch the whole press conference. The Kobe not flinching video. A new angle showed the ball wasn't in front of his face, but to the side. That's why he didn't flinch. That the MMR vaccine causes autism. It's long since been debunked and proven false, but many people still believe it to be true. That water experiment where people put their emotions thoughts music into the water and then they froze the water and took photos. The OG. The Loch Ness Monster picture. Everyone thought it was real and tons of people still think a marine reptile exists there. Loose change. All four of them. 
each one leaving out claims that were proven false in the previous version. What a load of crap! Bonsai Cat or Bonsai Kitties? The one where cats are put inside glass containers as they grow to reshape them like bonsai. That girl crawling through the window at McDonald's talking about this isn't even my final form was not the same audio. Various news stories and war throughout the world and using Arma 3 video game footage and passing it as actual footage. I'm currently addicted to a Facebook group reposting AI images people think are real. The comments are something else. That video from Alabama with the leprechaun in a tree. The video was real but the leprechaun did not actually exist. People putting razors and apples on Halloween to cut trick-or-treaters was a huge moral pandemic people still believe. The Ali dodging all the punches in the corner video. That was an exhibition fight. They were both playing around. The numbers of popular TED Talks that are based on research that doesn't hold up to scrutiny is pretty astounding. Flat Earth. Y'all will not stop with the Flat Earth. Why? Y'all trying to be different or trying to be stupid? That jetpack sighting at the airport. In reality, one of those videos was created by a YouTuber named Iraq. Swimming in the pool immediately after eating is fine, no matter what that Karen at the local pool is saying. A lot of cryptid undiscovered extinct but thought to be alive still animals would fit into this category. When Joe Rogan got COVID and CNN put a filter on his video to make him look super sick such low-level bias. That one photo that introduced so many people to the concept of trypophobia with the lotus pod on the boob. Check out Captain Disillusion on YouTube sadly his output has dropped but the standards are exceptional. All of them. At this point a viral video image news article is probably more likely to be fake than real.